Check one, check two, check one. You guys hear me okay? Okay, check one, check two, how about now? How does that sound? Okay, Sim fans, my apologies. My Blue Yeti mic went crazy. And of course, of all times, right before, it was like picking up everything. It's like I had the filter of noise gate enabled, and I don't know, I've got to do, I got to do some more checking into it, because I'm getting, I think, a lot of background noise. Hopefully it sounds all right. Uh, but guys, welcome to the Thursday night live stream. Hello. One and all, Sim fans, it's great to be back with you again. It feels like it's been forever, guys. It really feels like it's been forever. Aviation Spotter, thank you. All is good. Welcome, Aviation Spotter, my friend. Starship, welcome. Chris Evans, Flame Nation TV, Old Golfer 67. Oh, it's good to see all of you guys. Who else we got? My friend, Starship, welcome. Chris Evans. I know there's more out there, but you guys just uh, give a call, give a yell out in chat so I can see who's all with us tonight. Guys, I am so looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this. It is going to be a good one for sure, I think. I think, gentlemen. So, as uh, I get my Microsoft Flight Simulator loaded up, I'll talk a little bit about tonight and the plans for night. So, without further ado, let's talk about that. So, Sim fans, for tonight, what are we going to do? Of course, we're going to be checking out the new DHC-6 from Aerosoft. I know several of you have it. I know several of you like it. I like it. I got to be honest. I haven't had a lot of time with it yet. So don't think I will be proficient because I will not be proficient yet in this aircraft. But uh, some fans, we're going to give it a go. We are going to give it a go nonetheless. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm also excited. I've got my new Elgato face cam, which I'll be uh, turning on here in a few minutes. I've been waiting to get this from Amazon. I had a whole return thing going on, so I've got that all set up. So hopefully that'll work all right for tonight's stream. Got to give me a test run here, guys. So again, DAC-6, yes. So a little bit about the aircraft before we hop into it. It has been highly optimized. Looks like it has been. The sounds are fantastic. So it, the, the Aerosoft says it has 300 spatially placed sounds. From what I can tell, it's true. It sounds wonderful. Uh, and so that ha is is uh, something we can take advantage of. It also uses full use of decals to save on texture memory, very light on system resources. So far, the little I have played around with it, some fans, it does seem like that's true as well. Uh, definitely seems like a great uh, aircraft for the system. It isn't too hard on it and all that good stuff. 
And so, uh, yes, indeed, Sim fans. And uh, give me a second, I gotta change my Weather Preset Pro. There we go. Good deal, okay. So yeah, so it's easy on the resources it looks like, at least as far as I can tell. I'll be interested to see what all of you say in chat. Oh yeah, Starship, you're right, there's a bot. Maybe Aviation can delete that away. Uh, there, hey, thank you, Avi. Uh, Ace is down dead. Ace is welcome to the house. Ace is on top of it. Ace is, thank you so much. Good to see you, my friend. Um, <clears throat> so it also has complex icing modeled on almost all surfaces and functional de-icing systems, including electrical de-icing for probes and de-icing boots for leading edges. So that's uh, definitely a cool thing. So we might have to do some ice flying at some point. Not tonight, not tonight, but maybe some point we'll do that. It also comes fully featured fuel systems, high definition flight models for every model that it has and so far I've been impressed with that um, it comes with integrated checklists we'll get into that in a minute those have been implemented those I think are kind of so-so we'll get into that uh, and also has a complete avionics stack it includes 13 models of aircraft including passenger cargo floats wheel skis and much much more and of course it also has you ready for this guys a hundred and sixty one page manual all of which I have read except for 159 pages <laughs> so and for 35 dollars hey can we really argue with that 35 dollars for this bird we'll take it we will take it all right sim fans so with that let's uh jump on over and uh so we're sitting inside at kavix we are at kavix so in california ia sim fans hello hello how does it look so far, so good. Um, so I got it dialed in. I got the Elgato green screen behind me. So, so far it seems to be working out okay. Uh, this is my first live stream with the new camera, by the way. So we'll see how it works out for us tonight. Uh, so yeah, some fans, as you can see in the background, uh, we've got uh, Kavix. I've also did a little optimization of the streaming. I spent a better part of a day uh, last Saturday. Um, so you may notice if, if some of you are, the, are nerds like me and you're looking at the resolution, you'll notice it's 2580 by 1440 rather uh i'm sorry 2580 by 1080 i believe yes 2580 by 1080 rather than the normal 3440 by 1440 you know i figured most people probably aren't having 2k and 4k monitors although i know some of you are let me know how it looks um but i think we're going to be better off with uh you know with the um the resolution and the performance tonight. So we'll see how it goes, and I think it helped a little bit on latency. Um, so uh, so we'll see. I've got a lot of things that have changed, and what the hell happened to my uh, Blue Yeti? I have yet to figure that out. So, <laughs> of course, I find those things out right before end. But guys, great to see you. Great to see you. Aviation says, you look way more crispier. Wow, awesome. Yeah, I, I'm very, very happy with this. It's a, yeah, It's got some Sony technology and lenses and, and a lens in it, and so it, it seems to be one of the top weapons webcams before you get into the uh, DLSR camera so uh, thanks for that feedback and uh, holy dang this new cam is so much better than the previous thank you uh, Aces yes I, I I like it I do like it guys all right so now guys <clears throat> let me clear my throat oh by the way too I gotta check this out here so we I moved my original camera over here so now what used to be my webcam, face cam, is now the Bravo cam. How does that look, guys? So I moved the main camera I've been using all this time over here. I uh, did away with the uh, old Bravo cam, so I think it looks a little bit better. It seems to have a little bit better FPS and stuff, so we'll see how that works out for tonight as well. And uh, so is this multiplayer because I'd like to join in? Starship, absolutely. If you want to join in, KAVX. And I don't want to give away the plan for tonight quite yet, but if you want to start over at Cavix, we are in California, like I said. So let's get on with it, right? So we're going to do something a little bit different for this late night stream. And by the way, I want to thank all of you. I know Aces in Aviation, you're an hour ahead of me. So where you're at in your neck of the woods, it's right now 1046 p.m. Uh, so it won't be as long or as late of a stream tonight but we're still gonna have uh, quite a bit that we're gonna do and have some fun again something a little different tonight we're gonna be jumping to different airports around the world we're not gonna fly around the world because it's gonna be a short stream but we are gonna be jumping to several different airports and fans and trying out this new bird um, and seeing how we do so what airports do you ask all right so first we are beginning again as I said at Cavix. after Cavix. 
we're gonna hop on over to the Caribbean. Anybody wanna take a guess in chat what two airports, we're gonna be flying two airports in the Caribbean. I'll give you a hint, we've flown these before together in both a fly-in and just when you guys have been riding along. Um, and so anyone wanna take a guess what two airports will be flying in the Caribbean? Anyone in chat? Go, oh, ah, Nightbot, I forgot to change Nightbot. That is not the route, guys. <laughs> Ignore Nightbot. <laughs> Oh shoot, let me turn that off. Oh, I am so prepared. I am sorry. I was like scrambling to get all the, the stuff ready for tonight and I forgot to turn uh, reset nightbot, damn it. Um, anyone want to, while well, I'm doing that, anybody want to care to guess where we'll be going in the Caribbean? There'll be two airports we're flying in, or we're gonna fly, we're gonna be at flying pattern and, and doing a few touch and goes. Any guesses? Any guesses? Turn that up, multiplayer settings. I, I think we're good there. Anyone guessing? I know way too much. Aviation can't say, oh yeah, St. Bart's, Aces, you've got one of them. You've got one of them. And I assume somebody can guess the second one. Can't find Cavax, K-V-A-X. Can't find it, seriously? Old golfer? That's crazy, man. Really? Hmm. I'm not sure what to say, dude. Oh, that's weird. TNCM Starship, that is a great guess, but no, but you're close. You're close. Definitely in the right area. I'll give one more guess to one of you and then uh, I'll let you know what it is. TNCM is close. Oh yes, thank you, Aviation. I uh, missed the KVAX. Yes, Cavix, K-A-V-X. Thank you, Aviation. Not FS map. Um, yeah, KV, K, like you, uh, as Aviation said, K-A-V-X will get you there, uh, old golfer. You'll find it then. All right, I'm not seeing anybody posting it, so what the heck, I'll just tell you. So, uh, Aces, you, you uh, said St. Bart's. Anybody know of a little airport by the way, Aviation Spider knows because, yes, it's the smallest runway. I forget what it's called because it is in one of your highlights, Aviation. It is Saba. Remember? S-A-B-A, -A, Saba. Yes. Yes, indeed. So we'll be flying to Saba. Um, looking forward to that. And so that's TNCS, by the way, for the uh, code, the ICAO code. From there, Sim fans, I've got something really special for you guys. So we're going to head over to France. And I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but it's Corcheval Airport. And it was one of the landing challenges built into Microsoft Flight Simulator. I didn't I didn't see it there. Maybe I missed it, but I was checking earlier and I'm like, where the hell did it go? Because I couldn't remember the ICAO code and I couldn't find it. But a uh, quick Google search and I found it. So um, that's the one where you kind of fly in. Um, many of you have probably seen it where you go by the ski, uh, the ski lifts and that, and it's got an inclined runway. And then it, it's like a dead end. As soon as you get to the top, it flattens out, and if you're not stopped, you are in big, big trouble. You're going to hit either a snowbank or the basically a wall, okay? So that's going to be fun. We'll see how we do, because we're going to take off from there, do a basically a circle to land, and we're going to come back and land on that, and we'll see how we do. So we might have to do a landing challenge on that one. That could be a lot of fun for you guys if you're if you're flying with us. By the way, Starship, if you're flying with us, that'll be one to do. Um, old Golfer, it looks like you're going to be with us too. So that's going to be fun, guys. And then to end it for the grand finale and i'm going to put up the route now and you can't see it because i've got the bravo cam in the way how about the lukla flight how about that so we are going to do a short hop from Faplu airport and we're going to go to lukla of course that's tenzig hillary airport near mount everest in nepal so what are we doing we're going to be in us of a to start off with then we're going to go on over to the caribbean and then we're going to go on over to france and then we're going to end tonight sim fans with a flight in nepal and that's a tricky one too so if you're flying the dhc you're going to be fine if you're not flying the dhc and you're flying along and multiplayer with us. Definitely have a high performance aircraft. You're gonna need it. Um, and uh, But those of you that aren't flying with us, hop on in. I've got plenty of room in the back of this bird. Okay, let's go ahead and let's check that out because we need to see this. 
So we're not doing a regular flight plan tonight. You know, we're not going to be hopping from, you know, we're not going to be flying from one to the next to the next. We're actually going to, I'm going to bounce out, load a new uh, airport. You guys are welcome to do that as well. And uh, we'll just... Uh, hit all of them. The only flight leg we're going to do tonight, Sim fans, is at the end when we're in Nepal, and we're going to do a, a short 15 nautical mile uh, flight, um, again, from, uh, what did I say? Faplu Airport. Uh, that should be down in there. LFLJ. No, that's not it. Um, so that is, actually, I'll give it to you. That's VNPL. Sorry, I forgot to add that uh, to the route below that you're seeing. So it'll be actually VNPL. We'll go over that when we get there. VNPL to uh, VLNK. So as always, we're going to have the Bravo, uh, Bravo Throttle Quadrant, the Alpha Flight uh, Controls, and of course the TPR pedals by Thrustmaster. Um, and so we'll be using those tonight for tonight's flight, guys. So let's do a walk around of the aircraft here quick. We get that set to go away. Okay, so I'm going to turn the music off for a moment. Okay, so here we go. So this is the aircraft, and um, I'm going to go on the outside here. And uh, as you can see, they've done a really nice job um, on the texture work. Um, they've done a lot of good job on the P PBR materials. You know, that's so much when I see that, it's like, oh, we've done PBR textures. There's that lag that's driving me crazy. You guys remember that? We did our last flight. I've, I've had that lag. I know that uh, Kyle couldn't join us tonight. I think he's having some of that. I know some of you are having that lag, but Aces, you haven't had it, so count yourself lucky. Um, and I heard it's unstable for some, but this plane, yeah, this is looking beautiful. Um, you know, and if we, we uh, zoom on in here, let me slow this down, but look at, we got some dirt and stuff there, um, the empennage, uh, look, look at this, we've got the door textures, a lot of nice, beautiful reflection and dirt uh, around the uh, casing for the landing gear. By the way, the reason why this aircraft is so popular, not only because of the short take off and landing and uh, the ability to fly in just about anywhere, the landing gear is a monster. As you notice that the uh, wheels here are the Tundra wheels, so I didn't show you guys this, but it is... <clears throat> It's a beauty. It is a beauty. Uh, Ace, is what's the cruising speed on, on that? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I think we're going to be flying probably around 130, 140 uh, KIAS um, Aces for this flight. Um, again, take that with a grain of salt because I haven't gotten a lot of experience with this. So, um, But don't worry about cruise speed because all of the uh, airports, like we're starting here at Cavex, we're just going to go ahead and do some a couple touch and goes, and we're going to go to the next airport, do some touch and goes, next airport touch and goes. The only leg we're doing, again, is at that last leg at Nepal. So um, it's a short hop, so we'll probably only do about 110, 120 knots. But there you go, guys. Now, I don't know. Can I go inside with the drone? Yeah, so here's, here's the inside. And so as you can see, even inside here, the, the texture work is uh, absolutely gorgeous, I think. Um, and let's go forward. Yeah, and so uh, really nice texture work. And so I, I, I would say definitely worth it uh, for $35. Um, let's take off the control lock here, but as you can see, it's got this one pedestal here, and the interesting thing is, is you know, you've got your pilot and co-pilot uh, yokes here, and they're all they're tied together, and there's only one, um, you know, connection, essentially. Uh, there's probably more connections down in there, in the housing and that, but uh, pretty good, as you can see, nice texture work they have on the panel. Um, you guys may have checked this out um, already on some other YouTube. Uh, there's some good YouTube videos out there by other uh, uh, YouTube content providers. But, yeah, it's got, you know, and at first, it, it does look a little bit maybe overwhelming. Like, if we look back here, we got all kinds of switches and knobbies and stuff. And you might think at first, holy crap, this is like starting up a, this is going to be like starting up a 7.3, a 737 or something. But now, don't worry. Actually, when, when you do it a few times, now, I'm not going to, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I haven't read 161 pages of the manual. I am not going to be flying this two procedure with every knob and switch flipped and every single thing checked um, for tonight. Maybe later if I get a little more experience with this, because again, it was just released yesterday. Um, I, I probably landed this thing, taken off maybe five times, six times, tops and um so i don't have a lot of experience but we're gonna do this together that's what the stream's about tonight just like checking this out and having some fun uh hopping around uh some different airports around the world like we talked about um but again you know um it does have full uh anti 
uh, icing as we had talked about. But the thing I found first and foremost is it's kind of like you definitely want to set up your quick views. You definitely want to set those up. If you don't know how to set those up, a uh, quick shortcut is you do control alt one through I think nine. Um, it'll actually zero is included in there, but definitely set up your quick views because you're going to need them. Because if you, if you, if you see here, if I use my mouse to scroll, I can't see crap. I mean, I can see them from this angle, but that sucks. So um, that's one thing I would highly recommend to set up a quick view so you can pan back like I just did and see everything as you would want to see it. Uh, Chris, welcome to the stream. John, good to see you, John. Good to see you. I see your comments a lot of times on the videos. Uh, John, welcome to the stream. Good to see you, my friend. Tommy Hughes is better late than never. <laughs> Tommy, good to see you, my friend. And Don C, Don C, welcome to the stream. Uh, good to see you guys. Thanks for joining. But uh, so, again, uh, beautiful texture work. Uh, it does look a little overwhelming. Even if we look back here, there's even more switches and knobbies and things. Not all these fuses and everything, like you can see the inverter and that I can't click on that but some of these things I can uh, but I, I would say for $35 okay is this a study level aircraft I honestly can't tell you guys yes or no yet um, I haven't again with the 162 page uh, manual not having read it, it it very well could be close um, probably not I would say but I would say it's definitely not like your basic uh, Carinado aircraft by any means. It's 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 a really nice aircraft. I I do like it a lot. So um, with that being said. Uh, I was trying to say, okay, you know, you can obviously open the doors. Oh, that's exciting. Guys, do you remember <laughs> when Microsoft Flight Simulator just came out? You couldn't open doors. It was like, oh, such a big thing when we had an aircraft. I think maybe it was, was it the Piper Arrow or no? Yeah, I think it was the Arrow. It, it might not have been that, but I remember there was one of the aircraft that was like third party. It's like, oh, we actually finally have doors that will open and close. And it was like, yeah, that's that's amazing, especially for us that have come from X-Plane. <laughs> so, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, and I don't know, do we have some of you uh, here today? Um, I am on the East Coast server. I hear somebody running. Oh yeah, we've got some people back there. Let me make sure I can get my... Um, external uh, drone cam going guys because it's going in here and it seemed to be messed up here so I want to see if I get this to work again because I want to be able to take pictures of you guys um, as you're flying there, there we go all right good I got out of there I got, kind of got locked in there for some reason and couldn't move around but um, not being able to move forward and backward though that's kind of uh, not sure what's going on huh uh, always something, guys. Always something. Uh, anyway, let me... Well, we won't worry about that right now. So, anyway, guys. Uh, there we go. Um, so, we'll jump on into the aircraft here and take a look. Look-see. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I like to take that and get that cleared out of the way. Just get that out of the way. And let me go ahead and... Uh, so, the first thing that we're going to look at is the checklist. Now... The checklist is extensive, as you can see there are a lot of pages, but the thing that I love about some of the aircraft that doesn't work for this aircraft is if you click on this and you click the little eye icon, it doesn't work. So, you know, you think, oh, maybe that would work, and there goes that stutter again. Um, and you think, oh, maybe that's going to work, but it doesn't, you know. So we've got that set, but we click the eye. It's like, okay, where's the parking brake? It's down here. I've got that actually mapped to my, my Bravo, as you can see there. Emergency fuel switches, that's these here, um, and it wants those on normal, so we can see those are on normal. But, you know... I guess that maybe we'll make maybe they intended to do that guys maybe they wanted to make us like work at this i'll take away the route info so you can see but maybe they wanted us to actually have to figure it out a little bit closer and not just take the easy way of clicking the eye on there uh, but i i think it's a nice touch when you can do that i like to see that with the checklist it makes it really easy to find stuff because as you know when there's so much stuff and you're in a new aircraft you're not familiar with it it's nice to be able to just click that button and see exactly what you're supposed to be doing um, cabin lights and signs set position light on so now i have I found that most if you for those of you that have the alpha um, alpha throttle or alpha throttle alpha yoke flight controls um, some of these buttons work on the alpha and some of them don't um, but for example position light like if I go down here and you can't see it but I hit nav it does work here so I will hit nav um, pedo is off right here so that is on off so we'll go ahead and take those generators are off uh, those are not on uh, as you can see right here they're off 
and flaps are up let's just double check that and so if we look up here it's kind of weird because like your throttles up above you know you're holding on the, and your your uh yeah, your throttle, your propellers, uh, your propel prop levers are there, and your uh, mixture levers all up above and top. And here's your flaps. So I'm going to use, you know, I can use my Bravo throttle quadrant there to do, manipulate the uh, the flaps as always. I'll turn the Bravo camera back on here, guys. Oh, it was on. Oops, I thought I turned it off, but it was on. Okay. Um, so that is up. Uh, fuel levers are off. Um, propeller levels, levers, we want full forward. Now, I've seen different documentation. You can see that moves up and down. Um, I've seen documentation where you're supposed to start it as, um, the, with the uh, propellers feathered. Um, but on this checklist, it says full forward. So we're just going to follow the, uh, the checklist here. We're going to say tick on that. Uh, and then we want about 10%. So, you know, as we know, we go all the way to idle, but then I just kind of move it up forward just a, just a touch. Uh, ignition on normal, so uh, we want to check that. Now, if I click on that, we're not seeing it. Um, and ignition is already on normal, I believe. Yeah, and so we're good there. So a lot of this stuff by default is already set. DC source and master. I do believe I'm going to hit this button on my alpha uh, flight controls. I do believe the battery... You can see it works there, but it doesn't move these. Notice it just powers on and it powers off. And so it doesn't actually move these. So I'm gonna just do this manually. So I'm hoping what Aerosoft will do is they'll have a patch that comes out that will actually, when you do it on the Alpha, because there's a lot of us that have the Alpha flight controls that'll actually manipulate these. So we'll go battery and master because there's something else going on we just heard. So battery's on. Uh, fuel quantity, I believe we're at uh, 50%, so we should be good there. Um, of course, all of our stuff's just, just right down here, by the way. So there's your fuel quantity, so we're good. Uh, we got 50% on here. G.H. Showingsworth, fly the plane, he says. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> we will get going. And Arthur Ta uh, Arthur Le Touriste, uh, welcome to the stream, guys. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We will get started. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it started. So I have actually mapped uh, a couple of these to the left and right wing. And so to start this bird up, uh, start engage right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and click on right. And then we're going to go over here, let you listen to it. You'll see this prop start moving. There it goes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this guy right here to get about to 12, and it is. So we're going to go ahead and give it fuel. Listen to that sound. So now we're going to wait for that to stabilize. So you can see the uh, RPMs are going up. Where's the free drinks? <laughs> right here, buddy. Right here. <laughs> They are coming, my friend. I'll have our in-flight stewardess bring them back to you guys. All right, so now we got this stabilizing here, guys. And uh, that's looking good, so good to go there. So at this point in time, uh, <laughs> that's all right, VH. You, you, you be the passenger, that's all good. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the left. And again, you know, this, this bird is pretty easy to start up. I'm guessing that may be aces over there. All right, and uh, so here we're going, and once we hit 12 and we're past that, we'll go ahead and give it fuel. There we go. You know, and another thing, notice it didn't have the beacon um, as part of the checklist. I just kicked that on, by the way, so we'll go out on the outside and see now that's flashing. Good to go. All right, uh, let's check our oil pressure, make sure everything's good to go. Looks like it's fine to me. Uh, one of the things you notice, it's got the GPS 530. Yeah, I'm not so impressed with that. Although I think it does work with some other um, GPS add-ons. So um, I haven't had time to look into that. So just looking through all this, the starter should be back to center and it is. So we're good there, we got through all that. Da -da -da -da. After start, power levels idle. Generators, we need to get those on. Those, by the way, do work um, with the Alpha. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my um, generators. And did they turn on? They did not. I thought those did work, but I guess not. So we'll turn those on. Let's see if the lights are out. Boost pump. Uh, yes, I did not turn those on. I forgot to do that. 
worked, all right? Well, it still worked. <laughs> uh, compass and gyro set, caution lights appropriate, altimeter. Let's go ahead and hit B and uh, make sure it sets the altimeter so we don't want to waste time. And our collision position lights. Now it has them on after we start things? Okay, fine. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. Um, I think we're ready, guys. Are you guys ready for a couple touch and goes here? Uh, run up checks. We could do that, but we want to get going. I think people are ready to go. Oh, is it too loud? Okay. Uh, good enough. Thanks, Aviation. I will do that, my friend. Let's go. General options. Yeah, that's pretty loud, isn't it? It is. That, that is one thing to point out. Aircraft engines. Oh, my God. Are they loud? Let's turn. Why can't I not? What's going on? There it goes. And I'll tell you guys, after Sim Update 7, this is, at least for me, it's been lagging and it shouldn't be. Is that better? Is that a little bit better aviation, hopefully? <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and taxi. And I uh, do have track IR enabled, so. And uh, do make sure you do the uh, reverse thrust get those set up we're going to taxi on over here not sure who's in the green cessna caravan that's a lovely looking plane by the way guys i am using the uh, cabex uh, add-on scenery it is payware uh, but it looks like you guys are okay on the elevation i know once in a while that is kind of messed up but it's looking all right to me anyway for the time being It's still coming in a little drowned out. Okay, now well, I will see if I can't adjust that. Who's coming in here? Look at that. With the DHC-6, awesome. You know, I think I'll just, I'll go ahead and turn on the nameplates. I'd like to see who's around us, so. Sweet taxi on back here. Go to runway 22, I think it is. parking brake on I want to turn on the uh, I want to see who's around me so I'm gonna turn on the name plates here quick give me one sec there we go oh, geez there's people all around but while I'm at it I'll go ahead and turn down the volume once again and I'll just go ahead and turn down the master um, and turn that down to about 35 you tell me how it sounds guys if that sounds better it is a loud plane Hopefully that helps. Oh, we've got Flame Too High. Welcome, Flame Too High. Ace is down, of course. Thicket back there. Thicket, who's Thicket? All right, guys, so let's let's just do a couple touch and goes here, and then we'll move on to the next, uh, if that sounds good, the next airport. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll do a pre, uh, uh, before takeoff. Fuel quantity, da da da. Fuel boost pumps, we got those on. Rudder trip tabs, flight instruments, navcom, propeller levers, full forward, we got that. Auto feather, flaps take off. Oh, we need to do that. 10, go 10 on that. This is a short runway. Uh, pedo heat. I don't think we need to do that, but we'll go ahead and, and hit that anyway. Anti-ice, we don't need. Flip, uh, controls are all good. Transponder, landing lights, yes. Uh, I think the landing lights actually do work. Um, let me check that. They're over here, which I don't get, but they are, let me see, it does work. Yeah, those work. Okay, good. Landing lights check. Um, and we'll do runway heading, so we'll get that set as we pull on to the runway. So here we go, guys. <laughs> no smooth landing. Don't expect it, DH. I don't, I, I don't, or GH, I don't know if I'm going to have a smooth landing. Like I said, I only have maybe uh, about five or six landings. We're going to runway 2-2, two, two, guys. And we're going to do a couple uh, touch and goes here on 2-2. Uh, we'll do right traffic. I'll do a right traffic pattern. And let's get this set to our heading indicator to 2-2. And then we'll get going. Is that sounding better, guys? Can you hear me all right? All right, here we go. So we're going to go about 
and then we're gonna go get that going and then once we stabilize everything looks good there we go let's go ahead and full throttle and keep in mind we're at 1600 so we're gonna go 2600 feet for the pattern and we're gonna go ahead and rotate at 80 knots with this bird all right and 80 knots let's go ahead and pull back on the yoke Nice, uh, smooth takeoff here. There we go. You know, kind of like the uh, Kodiak, the nose wheel steering on this bird is definitely backflip. Definitely smooth. Definitely smooth. All right, keep on climbing. I'm going to go ahead and start my right turn. You climb up to uh, approximately 2,600 feet. in that trim. There you guys are. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. All pretty birds in a row. So we're just going to go out here a little bit and I need to level off. Pull that throttle back a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and bank to the right. So guys, we'll do one T and G here, and uh, we'll reload to another, uh, the next airport going on over to the Caribbean. I'll tell you what, guys, this aircraft has some serious performance. Like, look at, I've already busted my uh, pattern altitude. If you look at the altimeter there, by 400 feet, that's a lot. <laughs> GH, you're gonna have to complain to my boss. I busted pattern altitude really fast with this thing. Again, I'm not by any means proficient yet. I'll get there. I'll get there. So we got Cavix off to our right there. And uh, I'm going to start descent a little bit. I'm going to slow down a little bit as well. Touch no Gucci's. <laughs> oh, shoot. Descend down a little bit here. I'm going to get about to that 2100 when we come in. I went a little far out, but uh, that's all right. Let's check and see where you guys are. Flame too high back there. Old Gopher 67, Joseph aces down. Where's the Aviation Spotter? Hey, Aviation Spotter, where the hell are you? Lucas, how's it going, my friend? How the hell are you, Lucas? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. And there's that lag. Who else is experiencing lag periodically? Because I'm experiencing it more than one should. I mean, like, look at this. Absolutely ridiculous. And like I said, some of you guys know, I complained about it last live stream. It's happened since Sim Update 7. It was perfectly fine until uh, until then. And then I've, I've had that issue. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull back on the throttle, continue. Bought a new car today, sweet. Sweet. I'm good now. All right, now uh, now I'm too low. Like I said, guys, I am not going to be, um, like, super proficient on here by any stretch of the imagination. Um, guys... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad it's a highlight, GH. But I'm trying to figure out where the hell did the airport go? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I feel like I just like the airport just disappeared. What the hell?
Um, guys, I like, I don't know what's going on. to see how I do on the others. So this is my lack of pre preparation. <laughs> this is totally so bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, I was like, what happened? I don't see shit. Okay, let's try this again, guys. Your wife's boyfriend is a pilot? That's cool. That's cool, man. Let's try this again, guys. I must have got off on my... <laughs> I must have totally got off on my uh, altitude, obviously. Now I'm too damn high. Guys, this is terrible. Terrible, terrible. One of the things I've noticed is you can't see too much out there. Okay, well, let's do a side slip to a landing, shall we? Now, one thing I have noticed with this airplane, because I am too too high right now. Thinking. Sorry, guys, that were trusting Thinking. me and following me, because obviously I failed you Thinking. miserably. But see how high we are right now, guys? So what we're going to do is we're going to try out the uh, side slip to a landing. So we're going to add left aileron and right rudder. And notice that uh, that bleeds right off, that speed, if I wasn't so damn high. Um, but that, yeah, look at that. That's, I mean, if I was to like approach this right now at this rate, um, I would definitely be in trouble. I'm still going to just try to touch my uh, wheels here. Let's see if I can just touch them. I definitely am going too fast to uh, put the flaps down. But we'll test out this landing gear, guys. putting one up. There we go. Touchdown. And we'll go. All right. <laughs> so technically, technically I did land. Guys, technically I did touch down. <laughs> yes, holy crap is right, aviation. Oh, obviously I need some practice with this aircraft. That is apparent. Really apparent. There goes Joseph. Yeah, 2600 going for. God, I'm almost afraid to look at the comments in chat, guys. I really, I really am. Take out that notch of flaps. Start making my turn. TNG, that's right. That's right, buddy. TNG. God, that's embarrassing. I, I have not done that yet on a live stream. I like lost and not been able to get my bearings right on the runway here. Let's see if I can do better this time, guys. Let's see. No promises. All right. Yeah, I definitely got too low there, aviation. I'm going to blame the stuttering. It was the stuttering that caused the problem. It was all the stuttering. You guys going to buy that? No. <laughs> you guys are too smart for that. See, there's that stuttering again. Like, 
Damn, that sucks. I'm telling you what, guys. Microsoft, uh, Sobo needs to get that shit figured out, and they need to get it figured out fast, because that is driving me bonkers. Driving me bonkers. Keep that runway in view. Good God. Yeah, Bank Angle, yeah, you did, yep, that's what you were hearing. There's Joseph. All right, we'll try to make this better, guys. I'll try to make this better for us here. Add a notch. So we really want to land this. We want to approach at about 85. Um, we really don't want to uh, go less than that. I'm, I'm telling you what, though, it's kind of hard to see out of this, at least for me. Kind of like, wow, I'm not... We'll, we'll hit in the uh, reversers, too, when we get in get in a little closer. Let's watch that airspeed. Another notch. We're all right. Keep that above 85. But, boy, I'll tell you what, if you need some power fast with this bird, you're going to get it. You are going to get it. All right, guys, here we go. It's looking better. We're going to go full stop here. Metamops, metamops. All right, pull that out, and then I'll do the uh, reverse. There we go. Let's go reverse. There we go. Okay, that's better. You guys, forgive me. Probably not. I don't think I deserve to be forgiven on that ah! <laughs> He scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> oh, I'll run off the damn taxiway, too. I need practice on this airplane. <laughs> I need practice. Oh, shoot. All right, coming on in here for a parking job. Parking job. <laughs> Oh, that was pathetic, guys. Second one wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Still was coming a little fast there on final, but it uh, uh, wasn't horrible. Uh, you know, we lived, you know, like the old saying goes. Hey, if you can walk away, uh, that's a successful landing, right? And the aircraft isn't broken and we are alive. So we'll go ahead and uh, power this bad bird down um, and get to our next destination. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off taxi and landing lights. Uh, we can go ahead and get, uh, let's see, do we have this? Generators and stuff are on, that's okay. We can leave those on. I forgot to turn off, no, I, I forgot to do no smoking. Hopefully none of you are back there smoking, by the way. Anti-collision is going to stay on that one, too. So we're going to go ahead and pull these uh, props out, and then I'm going to take right engine out. And left. And one of the things, too, is it takes a while for these... Uh, these engines are spooled down. It really does. You are a floater. I was a floater. I did float quite a bit. But guys, we, we survived. I didn't kill us, you know? I, I came, I, you know, I got us lost for a moment, um, but we, we didn't die. We at least didn't die. So you guys give me some credit, right? Or not. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Um, I'm definitely... <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, you know, to be live on the internet, you, you know, I should know better. <laughs> be better prepared with this plane, but you know what? That's part of the fun. That's that's kind of like what I wanted to do with this live stream. We're going to fly it together. Flame too high right there, coming in. Ace is down, but yeah, I just wanted to be, I wanted to be raw, and boy, if, did you get raw. You definitely got raw, guys. Okay, so with that being said, we are going to switch on over. Uh, I'm gonna load up the next airport. So guys, load yourselves up into, and I'll put the uh, route here, see if that'll come up here. It's kind of hard to see without everything there, but uh, so the route, next one we wanna go is to TNCS. So guys, uh, load up TNCS, get yourself loaded. Boy, after that, guys, I almost feel like I need to have a freaking drink. I mean, I have one, maybe that's the problem. I've only had one. Aces, that's my problem. You know, should, you know, 
Not really for flying. You should never have a drink, but you guys know that. <clears throat> oh my good gravy, guys. That was... That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. There's just... I, I wish I could make an excuse for it, but there's no excuse. It's just that was plainly bad. Yeah, regardless if I was ready or not, I should have been able to not get lost, for God's sakes. All right, uh, I'm going to go on parking two at TNCS. So again, this is Saba. This could be a real treat too, guys. This could be pretty interesting. Guys, load yourselves up to TNCS. Um, I'm, I'm doing it now. And uh, I got to get caught up. Uh, looks like we have another spammer, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Aces. Nice work being right on top of it. Let me catch up, guys, on the chat. Uh... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Wow is all I can say. Okay, let me get caught up here. Turn yourself up. That's where aviation's telling me I'm too too low in the volume. How does it sound now? Is it alright? I'm gonna do an audio check here, guys. I think I know uh, I was Dinking around with the, uh, hold on a, a second, let me do something really quick. How's that? Is that better? I think there's something going on with OBS, honestly, but uh, I have some filters from it. How's that sound, guys? Does that sound better? Let me check here quick. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that sounds, let me see, maybe I can move this in. That, that drives, that drives uh, aces crazy, but um, hopefully that sounds better. Let me know in chat if you would. Everybody can hear me okay. Uh, All right, crazy. let me uh, check some. I've got the uh, airport, next airport loaded up, guys. Uh, G.H. Shellingsworth, uh, yes, she had multiple boyfriends over the years, but I'm not allowed to date. Oh. Hmm. That's how it goes, isn't it? Typical. <laughs> Bro, please be joking. <laughs> that was the least stabilized approach I've ever seen. Wow, that hurts, Lucas. <laughs> oh, man. Sterile cockpit. Nah, we're going with severely <laughs> frenetic cockpit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I love her. We have seven kids. Wow. That's a lot of kids, by the way. Arthur says, is Bank Angle that we hear? I did I did respond to that, and yes, sir, it was. Oh, uh, you guys went fairly easy on me. Oh, my goodness. Simfa is completely absorbed. I, I was, Arthur. I was completely absorbed. My God. I needed to be, man, my friends. All right, here we go. So we're loaded up. At the next airport, uh, again, TNCS, so Saba, and uh, you guys got to check out some of the previous posts by uh, Aviation Spotter. They're, they're on the uh, Symphonatic channel here because they are really good. There's a lot of funny, funny stuff going on. Let's go sterile um, and ready to fly. <clears throat> oh, boy. So I'm gonna, actually, I don't know. I was thinking about just starting with the engines running so we can speed this up, because it is late. It is a late night stream. Maybe the next, uh, you guys tell me in chat if you want me to just the next airport, just launch it with the engines running and be ready for takeoff. You, you guys let me know what you want to do there. Um, but yeah, so here, just really quick. Oh, I'm glad we have snow on Saba. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is Saba. If you guys haven't seen this, this is actually a really fun uh, airport to land on. Um, so check it out for those of you that haven't yet. Uh, I know probably many of you have. There's been some funny, funny, uh, funny video of us crashing off of this. I think we've all had a turn um, on this and doing the landing challenges. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's jump in and, and see if I can't do better on this one, guys. Holy yikes. Okay, so back to, I'm gonna try to do this from memory. This will probably be a bad idea, but I'm gonna see if I can. You guys are going, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> All right, uh, so I wanna go make sure we've got uh, battery power and some things on here. So let's go ahead and hit this guy and this guy. Uh, right, and this time I'm gonna remember to turn on the boost pumps. All right, so those are going. 
right, I'm gonna, I am going to look at the checklist because my memory is just not good. Uh, make sure you got everything. We did that. Parking brake set, fuel selector, fuel boost pumps, position light. So, yes, nav. Nav on. Pedo heat. Don't worry about that. Flaps up. Fuel levers off. Uh, yep, that all looks good. Uh, propellers forward. Uh, power levels ignition normal. We know that's going to be set. Battery's already on. Fuel quantity check. It's definitely going to be fine. Um, all right, we're ready to go. See how easy it is to start, guys? Here we go. Click, 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 click. I mean, I'm obviously skipping a lot of stuff, right? I'm skipping a lot of steps right now. I don't uh, don't try this at home, or do. All right, we're up to nah, not quite. There we go, and we'll add fuel. Here we go. Oh, uh, aviation! Remember when I ran through these cards <laughs> and it registered as a crash? Uh, those objects, guys, you can't you can't apparently go right through. Um, it's like some other things you can. Those you can't. Uh, all right. Uh, hop back in here. And let's see. It's all stabilized. Looks good. Let's go and do left. All right. Let's see here. Time to add fuel. That left engine, there she goes. Todd says, this was the first flight I took off, not ready to fly, and I punched it to take off to catch you all. As I crossed the threshold and the cliff dropped away, I noticed my controls were locked. <laughs> see, I wish I could get some of those in here, you know, to be able to see that. Maybe I got to have you, some of you guys, like, uh, run OBS or, or maybe um, NVIDIA's uh, game capture or even the game capture in Windows just to see that stuff. It'd be hilarious. Uh, let's see, did we get stabilized? We are stabilized. Uh, for the next airport, guys, we're just going to start at the runway and be ready to go with the engines running. It does work, by the way. Some aircraft, paywear aircraft, um, that doesn't work. You start on the runway, it doesn't work. Um, this one, it does. Uh, okay, I think, we're, I think we're good to go there. That should be good. After start checks, idle generators. Want to get those on, of course, so we don't uh, lose power. So on. Compass gyro set, caution altimeter set, better check that. And uh, we're at an altitude, guys, not very much. We're just about at 200 feet, so keep that in mind. And a collision I should have on. We'll try the taxi light this time. And I think we're good. Break your brake arm, auto feather, and ice. Just kind of checking this before takeoff. Other than transponder, we're not going to worry about that. See, this is a accelerated. We're going to cheat flight here, guys. I'm a little nervous because I got to I got to get around these carts. But here, let's see if we can back this thing up by using thrust reverse. Watch for the birds. So let's try thrust reverse and see if we can. We should be able to back this bird up. All right. Okay. Let me get the uh, route out of the way, and uh, we'll go ahead and get the Bravo cam on. So if you notice here, what I do is there's a detent, guys. So I can go like that, detent, and then now I can go forward, and I detent that down, and then we can do... Whoop, it didn't work that time. There we go. So let's see if we can't reverse this bird. So we're going to go full reversers, see if it works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Let's get away from these damn carts. They make me nervous. I'm not sure who's in pink there. <laughs> I don't want to run you over. But at least I know I can go through you, whoever that is. Um, yeah, look at, oh, look at that. Thank you, sir. Or whoever that is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. I knew that was going to happen. All right, we're going to switch that, go forward. Okay, guys, here we go. And stutter once again. Damn stutter. All right, so let's go on over here. And let's use all of this runway for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my landing light on. We're gonna die while we're on the ground. <laughs> oh, shucks. Who's that out there with the DHC-6? Who is that? So we're gonna mosey on over to runway 30. Uh, I'm going to get back here behind and try to use up as much runway as I can here. <laughs> I'm going to 
time. <laughs> you have so little faith. Oh, here we go. We get ourselves turned around. All right. So we're going to do... Um, let's go ahead and do one touch and go on this, and then we'll do a full stop. And I do want to see who that is. McClyde! Hey, McClyde! How you doing? How you doing, McClyde? All right, let's get a 10-notch. Uh, let's get flaps on 10. I think that's probably going to be good enough. Look at you guys. Probably should grab a screenshot there, shouldn't we, of that? Though I can't quite see. Who's Big? I, I've seen that before. Big Dog, Di, Big Dog 6065. Who just went over the cliff? Flame too high. <laughs> what happened, Flame too high? <laughs> he's, he's taking another route. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Full throttle. Let's go free for full. Let's go ahead and just make sure we got stuff stabilized. And uh, we're going to go 1,200 feet. Uh, and McClyde, you go on ahead, buddy, and, and uh, take right off there. There goes McClyde. This, this bird is touchy. Denison Manfred, what? Message deleted. I didn't get to see what, uh, what that was. Probably best. I didn't see it. Why, why, what the hell's going on? Jeff must have had like a severe crosswind. Did you guys see that? Wow, that was scary. My God. That was nuts. I must have had like a serious crosswind there, guys, because like I, I thought I was going to lose it. It's gonna be like the the stream of shame tonight. <laughs> Good God. Alright, twelve hundred, let's go ahead and pull some throttle out. There's some McClyde. Don't you love that I have uh it's it's snowy here in the Caribbean. <laughs> Uh, it's, that's, by the way, guys, if you're wondering, that's due to the Weather Preset Pro I'm running right now. Um, I forgot to change it. So I'm not running real world or live weather right now, guys. And the reason for that is because there is a issue with uh, live weather right now. Asobo is aware of it, and uh, they are working on a fix. Sounds like they're going to have a fix, but they don't have it yet, so... We're just going to go without live weather for right now. And like you can see, I mean, this bird, this, it gets going. I mean, it does not dink around at all. I can't see it even right there. All right. I know it's kind of cheating. All right, sterile cockpit. I need to focus. I'm not sure that'll help, but I do. <clears throat> kind of hard to see with the snow, too, because the snow is covering the... That scared the crap out of me, guys, when we were taking off there. I was like, holy crap, what's going on here? I'm getting, like, sideswiped here. some airspeed off. Man, I am not doing well tonight. I am not doing well at all. It's just plain, just like, it's so powerful. <laughs> that comes something like, <laughs> holy crap! <laughs> Alright, that's good. <laughs> I don't know if that really constitutes a touch and go. I don't know. <laughs> I got lucky. 
aviation. I got lucky, my friend. I don't know if I'm ever going to want to do a raw video and not having uh, prepared with an aircraft again after tonight's performance. Oh my god. Uh, this is terrible. Like I said, I had like five or six landings before, uh, before tonight. Uh, just, you know, so I'll just keep on making excuses. That's alright by you guys. Alright, let's see. Is second time a charm? We'll see if second time's a charm. Alright, uh, let's see here. Well, and the thing is, I'm, I'm part of the problem, I'm going too damn fast. I need to be better about uh, watching my, my airspeed and throttle. Because I can tell you right now, guys, it's part of the problem. I'm just going too damn fast. And there's that stutter again. See? Man, that's that's annoying. It's almost like it's got two speeds, on and off. It's like, all of a sudden the props engage and it's just like, it hits like this sweet spot or something and it's just like, it just flick and flip and takes off, just like nobody's business. I better get this right or I'll be off the damn runway. This, this is, there's no forgiveness here guys. This is this is gonna be it. Like if I don't hit this right, I'm off the runway. Get this baby trimmed out here. Jesus, hold on. Get those brakes in. Holy crap. There we go. Uh, I'll get off the runway. There's probably some people behind here. Hey, we made it. There comes McClyde. There you go, McClyde. That looked good. Nicely done, my friend. Nicely done. Who's in the CJ4? I could hazard to guess. Finally, aviation. Damn. I, it feels like I'm like wobbling all over the place. What's going on with that? I don't know if it's the plane or if, if it's the terrain or something here, but... Oh, I can pull a little bit. Would that be Kyle? I've got the sneaky suspicion that that CJ4 would be Kyle. Because Kyle likes to fly that. Let me get parked here and... Uh, God, for the love of... For the love of Pete! <laughs> Will this never end? <laughs> no, that's Flame Too High. Flame Too High is flying the CJ4. Flame Too High. I mean, I, I, I'm almost, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm afraid to look at your comments. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, watch for birds. Symphonetic uh, GH asked you a question. Uh, I missed his question. What was his question? What was your question, GH? Uh, okay, new to chat. Is Symphonetic a pilot in real life? Oh, uh, thank you, GH. Sadly, yes, I am. <laughs> Sadly, yes, I am a real pilot. Um, you know, just general aviation. I've got my PPL. I've, I've worked on uh, my commercial and my um, uh, and my instrument rating. And, um, of course, I let the, the written test expire. But I am a real, pil uh, real pilot. Uh, you would not be able to guess that with my performance tonight. Uh, but, yes, GH, sorry I missed your question there. Uh, we're going to die while on the ground. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> Uh, yes, GH, uh, can you give a shout out to my wife Matilda? Uh, shout out to Matilda, uh, if you're out there, Matilda. Uh, a shout out uh, for you by uh, GH Shellingsworth. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. 
Uh, let's see, how did you not hit them rocks? I did see that, unfortunately. I want you to do a full stop at Saba, and I did. I did as I nailed that, guys. I did it. I did it. Holy crap, and, and so did several of you. All right, guys. So it's time for me to pour myself a refresher and get my nerves calmed down. And maybe we'll do better as we uh, do a takeoff. Next, uh, next airport, we are going to be taking off from St. Bart's. Uh, what is St. Bart's? What is that? ICA code is TFFJ, Tango, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Juliet. Um, here's the route again. Let um, me move the Bravo cam out of the way. So TFFJ, let's go ahead and get ourselves a refresher. Load this baby up. And uh, I need to move that. It's kind of hard to see with the... Uh, uh, actually, I got another one. Here, let's do this one. All right, so guys, when we come back, let's load up TFFJ, and uh, I will see you in just a few, and uh, we'll have some more fun tonight, guys. Thanks for joining so much. I do appreciate it so much that you guys are with me and the rest of the Sim fans tonight. Be right back with you.
Test one, two, one, two, three. Who is up for a landing challenge here? Who is up for it? You all can beat me. I know this. Landing challenge here. <laughs> Starship, I would be up for a landing challenge, but I'm in a helicopter. You'd beat us all. <laughs> You'd beat us all, my friend. WMKI Ground, how on the how in the heck are you, my friend? Thank you for joining. Remind me, what time is it where you're at right now? I think it's late or early. I don't ever remember. Welcome. So good to see you. Don C. Symphonatic, you're right about the throttle. It's an on-off switch. If you think you're on a good glide slope on final approach and start hearing sync rate, I need to be ready to get forward with the throttles. Absolutely. Yeah, I, this is definitely an aircraft, guys, that you want to practice and get proficient in. Don't do as I have tonight and embarrass yourselves. Uh, and... <laughs> Get, get familiarized with it or don't have a bunch of fun uh, Flame Nation TV says let's do it Flame Nation I did see yes this is a nice area to fly in my friend absolutely a great fun area to fly in and with that being said Sim fans yeah let's get on with it already shall we so we shall take the thumb off and we will be set uh, so I think everybody knows where we're at hopefully everybody good to go everybody rock and roll all right uh, I guess I am feeling I just am not feeling confident in my flying abilities with this, this airplane tonight I know I said it before and I'll say it again I am not confident whatsoever I suck at this airplane obviously so I'm, I've got a goal though I'm gonna get better at it so I can stream and redeem myself we got another uh, spammer in chat thank you again aces man those have been rampant lately <laughs> Okay, guys, um, so how about this? We'll do a landing challenge here. Who's ever closest to the numbers um, will win the landing challenge. I will do the drone view. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off first, if, or you guys can take off, whatever. But I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna come in round, I'm gonna do a full stop, because I gotta try this, this airport with this aircraft. I haven't done it yet. All of these airports I have not done yet, except for the France one. Um, I did try Luke, by the way, so I can't, I can't lie. But these I haven't tried at all. Saba, this airport, um, and so I, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. But I'm gonna do a circle. I'm gonna do left track pattern work. I'm gonna come in, land, full stop. I'm gonna get part, and then I'm gonna go out into drone view, as you can see here. And what I will do, as I've done many times, you guys have seen me before, is I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna make sure I got your name plates, and then I'm gonna see who hits right on ten. Let's see who can hit right on ten and get the Medal of Honor tonight uh, for, for the uh, landing. So we'll do a landing challenge here, and uh, let's see how it goes. All right, guys, are you ready for this? And the nice thing about starting hot, I think I'm all ready to go. Look at everything's everything's going, everything's ready. Um, I think even the landing lights, maybe. Yeah, landing lights, everything. I kind of like that. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get stabilized. <laughs> Somebody's jumping around in front of me. All right, looks like it's stabilized. Are you ready, guys? Blando! Hey, Blando! Everybody shout out to Blando. Blando, good to see you, my friend. Uh, you've missed a lot of embarrassing moments for me. I have had one of my worst nights of landing with this new airplane I just got. Uh, several of the others have, ha have it too. And it is, it's not, it's not an easy aircraft by any means. It's very, very touchy. It's telling me I'm too low flaps already. They gotta fix that. I'm taking off. <laughs> How am I too low when I'm taking off? Good grief. I should have checked what runway. Was that runway? Yeah, runway 10, right? I'm gonna go ahead and, as I'm flying, which you never should do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and set my heading bug to 10. Really quick here. And uh, climbing up to 1,000 feet. And I mean, this thing is, it's like we talked about, Don C and I talked about, it's like this airplane, it's like on or off, on or off. I mean, like, look at that speed just, and like all of a sudden you hear the, the engines kind of cut out. I got about halfway on the throttles and it's like, oh yeah, all of a sudden engines out. I get that thing out of my way because I can't see anything. 
It's like anything, you know, you pr the damn stutters. Look at that. Terrible. Besides the stutters, which is a Microsoft Flight Simulator problem, by the way, it's not my, uh, not my computer. Um, it might be my graphics card, I'm not quite sure yet, but, um, how's the stream, guys? I mean, has it been, um, there hasn't been any, uh, lag or caching or anything like that, right? Hopefully. Old Gam, oh, Del Gam, 88, how are you doing? Wish I was able to join, but in Kentucky tonight. Well, hey man, if, if you're, are you on vacation? Or there goes Joseph flying, whizzing by here. Uh, Del Gam, nonetheless, thanks for joining, my friend. But okay, because he saw you on the news. <laughs> then don't sink, seriously. Am I really sinking? Look at that. My vertical speed indicator, okay, now I'm sinking a little bit, but. I wasn't sinking. I think we're out far enough. We can start. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how I do here. Um, I am going to do a full stop, and then that way I can go to drone view, and I can catch all you guys that are so much better than me. And I, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> At least tonight. This is terrible. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm adding to uh, the repertoire of what uh, aviation will have for his videos. You guys do realize that, right? You do realize that. So now I'm going to pull that throttle out, and it's just like all of a sudden the engines are just like, you're going to hear them just kind of cut out. Oh no, <laughs> breaking news. I don't have a good feeling about this. True, I've said this before. But it's just like continuing to. Uh... This is an aircraft that you definitely want to be ahead of. I have, I have found out tonight. You want, it's kind of like a jet, even though it's a turboprop. It's like a jet aircraft. You want to be ahead of it and be ready. Plane too high going right in. Get to the yellow brick road. Let's see how we do here, guys. So, like, look at that. All of a sudden, I'm dropping below that 80. A little off here. I need to get situated. There's a tree to help with that tree in the way. Here we go. 50, 40, 30, 20. Man, I suck. Yeah. Get down. Well, I'm definitely not going to win that one. <laughs> but we're landed. I'm going to go ahead and get myself turned around here, guys, and get off the runway and out of your way. I got the Tundra tires. I can, I can go over all the grass and everything here. <laughs> Our table is broken. What's... What does that mean? <laughs> In the back there? You guys, are you alright back there? <laughs> Sorry about Nightbot. I, I thought I had disabled that about the fly-in. By the way, guys, it's a good time to say uh, the fly-in is a multiplayer. We get into Discord voice. Uh, it's the first Saturday of every month, typically. Uh, but it's an opportunity for everybody to hop on in and uh, everybody get to talk together. Um, along with me, and it's always a good time. We'll have aces, we'll have aviation spotter, sometimes Kyle's in there. Blando, I don't know, have you ever been in a fly-in in, in Discord with us? I don't recall that you have. I think you maybe need to get in there at some point there, Blando. Uh, I do appreciate you joining tonight, though, my friend. By the way, guys, Blando is the one you see the um, animated logo. He is the one that did that for me, and uh, looks very good. And the background on the uh, or the banner on the channel. So, Blando, shout out to you for that work. Do appreciate you, my friend, so much. All right, I'm gonna get over here, guys, and then I'm, you guys keep doing your touch and goes. Practice those babies up. I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna shut down, and uh, I'm gonna get into drone view so I can watch you. I'm gonna turn up the tunes, and uh, it's gonna be your show. Uh, let me get this all powered down. 
Everything off. <laughs> and there's the helicopter right there. <laughs> that turned off. All lights off. Look at that helicopter. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, good grief. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's turn these. Let's turn these tunes up. You guys, show me what you got. Uh, everybody gets one try because I know you've already had tries. So each person has one try. No cheating. No cheating. I won't count that flame too high. You get you get another shot because I'm not ready. Joseph, he's just like monitoring as well. <laughs> hey, Seuss on water. Here comes McClyde. I think McClyde is the first to join. Or at first for this challenge. So McClyde, you are number one, my friend. Number one. And Aces looks like he's number two. In that beautiful 208 in the back. McClyde, let's see what you got, my friend. Oh, look at him, guys. He's crabbing. He's crabbing. He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! I, did you land it? He landed. He purposed. <laughs> Good try, McClyde, but you landed on your nose. Uh, nose wheel. <laughs> but he's, he stopped and he's fine. He can do that. It's a, uh, it's a rugged aircraft. Uh, so right now, good job. McClyde's got it, though. That wasn't too far from the 10, though, I must say. Aces, what are you, where are you going, Aces? Aces is going to do another approach at it. Probably a smart idea. Liots. Who's Liots? Dougam88 says, working, just finished the Moorhead State game. Oh, yeah, nice. How'd that go? How'd that go, Dougam? Guys, if you haven't already, please smash that thumbs up button. I see many of you had. Thanks so much. I appreciate it, guys. Um, and uh, subscribe, and there'll be a nice animated logo uh, for you if you do. Um, hey, uh, Blando, you probably came in later. Yeah, I do have my new uh, Elgato face cam. How do I look? Can you see my uh, scruff? Maybe not. <laughs> All right, who's coming in here? We got Liotz. Who's Liotz? Liotz looking pretty damn good here, by the way, guys. Oh, holy cow. Well, Liotz got in the PC6. PC6, he does it. Who's Liotz? Put it in chat. He got it. Uh, he bounced just once. That was a damn good landing, my friend. Who's, uh, who's Liotz, guys? Who is that? Nice job. He's got it right now, guys. Who just flew over? Ace is down. Ace is. <laughs> Ace is going to get another shot here. Ace is going to get another shot. That's okay. We'll allow it, Aces. We'll allow it. You didn't land, so we'll allow it. They beat Belmont 83 to 74. Wow. Who do we got next? I think we got old golfer 67 coming in. Old golfer 67. Aviation spotter, you decided uh, not to fly tonight? Here comes old golfer. Let's see how he does. Uh, skip up here. <laughs> That's okay. You saved it. You saved it. Uh, Joseph is just hanging out. I wish I had. What helicopter do you have, Joseph? I need to add that livery so that we can see you in future live streams. Just let me know in chat. I'll add. I'll add it unless I have to pay for it. If I have to buy it, nah, I still sometimes will do that. Who's next? Who's next? Leots has it so far, guys. Leots has it. Jesus doesn't only walk on water, he's also um, invisible. We got McClyde. Oh, it's a payware. Oh, that's you, Starship. Payware Heli, H145. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Do you like it? I've got a helicopter, uh, but it's a freeware one. I think it's the H145. Isn't there a freeware H145 Starship, if I'm not mistaken? If I'm not mistaken, and I could be mistaken, I have been mistaken before. McClyde, did you already land? 
No, I'm thinking of when uh, Saba, maybe. I don't. Has McClyde landed yet? Nah, he wouldn't cheat. <laughs> maybe he did land. He, uh, did he go around, guys? My memory has a half life of about 15 seconds, by the way. Here comes McClyde. Well, we, we will go back. We will do a review. But let's see how he does anyway. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe I'm remembering Saba. Let's see how he does here. Looking like a good approach. Looking like a really good approach, guys. Let's see how he does. Look at that. Uh, nah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is a tough air. I mean, seriously, this is a tough field. McClyde, I mean, good job, man. It's a tough field. It's a tough field. Chris Evans, he went around bouncing for that. Okay, I thought, I thought that was the case. Thank you, Chris. Chris, how the heck are you, man? Uh, still, McClyde, not bad. Not bad, not bad. This is tough, guys, because you've got, as you can see, you've got this hill, right? And so you come through the, you guys all saw this, you got these trees here. And I don't think this tree that's tall here actually registers as a collision. But you come right down here, you got to have, it's a touchy thing. You've got to really, you've got to really approach it carefully. Let's see, Asus is coming in. Asus has, has had a couple looks. I think Asus is playing it smart, guys. If I know Asus, he, he's going to he's gonna investigate, he's going to survey, and he's definitely done that. So now the pressure's on Asus. Let's see how he does, guys. Let's see how he does. Here he comes. He's coming in. It's looking like a pretty good approach. He just went through that tree, which is fine. Bounce, but not bad. Not bad. I think he might have... Aces, did you land on your nose wheel as well? But you, you're you all right, man. Right in the... Oh, damn near dead center. That's a tough one, guys. I don't know. I still think I got to give it to Leots, though, guys. And who is Leots? Chris says, doing good at work, so just watching tonight. That's all good, man. That's good. All right, Flame 2 High is gonna, gonna come in here, and uh, then we'll have Old Golfer, and I think that I think we're gonna be done. We'll be going to the next uh, airport, guys. So let's see how Flame 2 High does, and then Old Golfer. These guys are like neck and neck here. This might be interesting. <laughs> They're both coming in. Okay, here comes Old Golfer and Flame Too High. This this might be one for the highlight reel here, Avi uh, Aviation Spotter. Correcting, Old Golfer's correcting. He's getting front and a little bit to the left, but uh, not bad. Flame Too High. Ooh. <clears throat> That's pretty damn good, Flame Too High. Oh, my gosh. What do you guys think in chat? What do you guys think? Is that? I think that might be a tie with uh, Flame Too High and Liotz. Uh, Starship, can I have a try? Uh, of course. Of course. Are you still out there? Uh, Flame, uh, Starship, where are you at? Starship's gonna change to a C-172. Not making anyone dizzy yet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dicking around with the drone. <laughs> uh, well, actually, uh, Starship, we are. We're gonna have more landing challenges. Um, we're gonna be going to. Um, well, the next next airport. Oh, this will be a good one. Oh, you're spawning in. All right. Well, yeah. We'll wait for you. We'll wait for you. And if anyone else wants to give it another shot while uh, Starship gets in here. Uh, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. I'll capture it. We got time. Stunt drone! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, Aces. Well, well, we'll wait for Starship. We're, we're glad to have Starship with us. We will wait for Starship to give it a try. Let's let's wait for him, guys. And by the way, if any, anyone else wants to give it one, we'll go ahead and anyone that wants to give it another shot, go ahead and do it. And then we will go. Guys, get ready for some serious shit, by the way, because we're going to France. It's just not for the faint of heart and then after france we're going to wrap up the stream and we're going to be going to lukla and many of you know lukla is is no messing around lukla you have actually for the for lukla and um if i pronounce that right did i, did I pronounce that right guys Courcheville. neither one of those airports you have one shot and one shot only if you mess up you're done you're done there will be no, like, well, simulator, we have a reset, but uh, in real life, you're done. All right, Flame 2, man, Flame 2 High, I don't know. I, th I think it's, I, Leots is Lee off the stone. Hey, Lee, 
Lee, welcome to the stream, my friend. Are you uh, are you a subscriber? And if, if you are, thanks for joining us. I think this is the first seeing you on here. Uh, appreciate you joining. Uh, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Fun to have you on, on board here, Lee. And you nailed that, buddy. You nailed that. I, I, I got to say, guys, I think it's a... We got a couple of good uh, simmers that are in here tonight. Because between uh, Flame Nation and, and uh, Leots, we... Uh, I'm almost going to have to say it's a tie between those two guys. Starship, remind me, who are you again? What's your uh, gamer tag? <laughs> Lee says, Woot! Absolutely, my friend. Woot is right. Woot is right. Absolutely fun to fly with people. Well, and so every live stream that uh, that I do, that we do, um, every time, uh, every, you know, people come and fly in, Lee, and uh, I, I, I think it's great. I welcome it. You know, we I think like every live stream is basically a, a fly-in almost. Um, the only difference is the first Saturday of the month, um, we have an official multiplayer fly-in, but then we jump into Discord voice and check out Discord, our Discord server, by the way. And, um, you know, that gives us a chance to, you guys to hear somebody but me, um, hear all of your voices on the stream. And it's it's a good time. It's really fun. I got to take a seat back and just watch you guys and get a listen to you guys. I still get involved, but it uh, gives, gives you guys an opportunity to get in the spotlight. Uh, but, eh, like tonight, you guys get opportunities to be in the spotlight too, so it's all good. And did, uh, let's see, Starship Joseph. Okay, thank you, thank you, Starship. So Joseph's coming in. He's going to be in the C-172, guys. Oh, Aces, you're using the flights. Oh, you're using the flight stick. Okay. Oh, hey, well, then you, <laughs> you did pretty damn good with that then. Joseph, for some reason, I'm not seeing you. You're flickering. And I think this has to do... Damn it, this sucks. I'm sorry, man. I, I don't see you. I, so it's like, I don't know if it's the server I'm on or you're on. I suspect you're on the East server. And this is another thing that's happened since Update 7, Sim Update 7, is we, we noticed that too. We don't always see each other. Joseph, I can see... You, it looks like you had a good landing. It really does. It looks like you had a good landing. Sorry we didn't get to see you, buddy. I don't know if you're on the East Coast server or where you're at in the world, and maybe that's part of it too, but uh, hopefully a Sobo gets that resolved, guys. Um, playing too high, are you going to come in for one more? Do you want us to uh, see how you do on this last final one, then we'll switch? We'll switch on over to France. France is going to be interesting, guys, because we're going to take off from France. We're going to circle around for a landing, and it's going to be crazy. Especially with this aircraft. We'll wait for you flame too high because I think you're making your approach. So we're gonna go ahead and sit tight. We'll see how you do on this one last uh, one last John here. And then guys will get switched over. I it, you know, Starship, I was looking at your gamer tag. You know, at least I can see that. It looked like you had a damn good landing, man. That looked like you had a damn good landing, my friend. That just sucks we couldn't see ya. Okay, Flame says no, it's okay. Uh, which island is this? So this, we are at St. Bart's. Um, and so we are in the Caribbean, Dogam88. And by the way, this is not payware scenery, guys. This is the default hand-painted scenery that comes with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I don't, I have the basic one that comes with Xbox Game Pass. That's what, that's what you're gonna get. I mean, this is the default, uh, default scenery. This is not payware. I have a lot of payware, but this is not payware. All right, guys, with that being said, get that turned down so let's go ahead and we're gonna switch on over now guys this is going to be a little crazy uh, blue skies time we don't need that there's my countdown timer I need a map I've, I've got this uh, I love it as a stream deck but uh, gotta get that uh, turned off I need a map a button for that now there we go okay so for this one I'm just gonna go ahead and get this route. There we go. I'm gonna put this up here, guys. So it's like a little easier to see. So um, the next one is LFLJ. So you guys get yourself loaded up in LFLJ. I will do the same. 
Um, what runway? We are going to be, uh, I'm going to be running hot, so I'm going to start with my engines going like I did just there, um, just to speed it up, because it is getting late. Uh, for some of you, it's past midnight and probably beyond. Uh, so LFLJ, the altitude is 6,580 feet. We're going to be taking off from runway four, so get yourself set up. If you're flying, uh, get yourself set up on runway four. Again, that'll be LFLJ. Runway four. Corcheville. This is no joke, Sim fans. This is no joke. I'm actually gonna set my weather preset pro. Uh, I can get that set once I load it up. At 2.46 in the afternoon, that's all right. Blando Calrissi says, I'll have to join for a fly in some time. Oh, Blando, that would be awesome, my friend. You definitely de need to do that. I need to get Nightbot to shut the hell up because um, <laughs> as much as I love Nightbot, they're still talking about the flying disabled. There we go, guys. That won't come up anymore. Getting loaded up. Getting loaded. No, not really. I'm not loaded. I've only had one and a half. It's not enough to get loaded, guys. Not by a damn sight. <laughs> As we get loaded up here, I'm gonna take that thumb away. Blan, do you like my little transition effect? Huh. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. All right, LFLJ it is. We turn off the route info, and uh, this is another beautiful airport, guys. But we're gonna, I'm gonna do a drone view and just we're gonna check this out really fast, if you don't mind, because it is pretty damn sweet turn off track IR but here we go like look at this look at this so you've got you guys you what you really need to do is you need to check out uh, YouTube for this airport and you need to see like how many aircraft land on this sucker now look at the grade look at the slope on this thing and now this is gonna be a bitch because so fancy Blando says yes sir look what the wind is so when we come into land here we're gonna have a tailwind so it's even gonna be worse because that's going to obviously speed us up when we come in for a landing. But you notice this slope. And uh, if you don't get yourself stopped, there's a, there's essentially a wall here, guys. And you need to check out, uh, look this airport up sometime on YouTube. There's a lot of real life and real life videos where uh, pilots come in and they slam right into that, uh, right into this wall here. Uh, and it, it's not hilarious, actually, because you feel bad for them. None of them actually die, I don't think, but they, they mess their aircraft up pretty good. There goes Liotz. But anyway, so that is here, and uh, look at the mountain range. So what we're going to do is, you see, we're going to take off from um, runway 4, and you see all that mountain range out front. So we're just going to do like as kind of a standard turn. We're going to get out almost to that first mountain ahead, and then we're just going to do a slow standard rate turn, bank to the left. Don't let your speed pick up too much. And um, the other thing about mountain flying, when you come out of this, it, the eyes can deceive. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of an illusion effect. So just try to keep yourself um, between 90 and 100 knots indicated airspeed. I did practice this once, uh, once. Um, and you want to um, try not to climb beyond too much over 7,000 feet. Again, when we come back in circle around, we're gonna be in that valley to the left, guys. And so just, just kind of watch for that, kind of go around to 7,000 feet, standard rate left turn, and we'll circle around, we'll come in for a landing. And of course, the runway we'll be landing on, we're gonna take off from four, so we'll be landing on runway 22, right? Runway 22, all right, that makes sense? Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and program my heading bug for um, runway 22. which is essentially directly behind us. And then that way, it's kind of a little trick to just get yourself oriented. Are we ready? And this is gonna be a one shot. We're not gonna do, obviously, we're not gonna do a touch and go. We can't do a touch and go. France must be the mountain ski resort that's on the cliff. Exactly, Don C. Oh no, Starship crashed. You know, that's the other thing that's happened, I've noticed. Um, after Sim Update 7 that some of you have complained about is like, cr again, we got crashes. You know, is I can't imagine being a developer for something with you have so many different hardware configurations, and not only do you have to program for PC, but Xbox too. Xbox actually be easier because it's standard, but all the PCs and then the console and then crossplay, that's got to be an, a nightmare. 
I imagine. I'm no developer. Blando, you know I'm no developer. But I, I can only imagine that it has to be ama uh, insane. Are you guys ready? Who's who's uh, who's brave enough to do this do this uh, this run with me? I know old golfers back there. Aces is back there with his flight stick. Who else we got back there? Flame too high, and uh, and then off in the distance we got Liots. So I think we uh, have some people a little afraid for this one. Ah, uh, crap! Hold on a second, guys. I forgot to notice on my, oh, I need to engage my Bravo camera. So I need to get this fully forward. So if I did that while the sim was running, it would cut my engines. It still might, let's see. Nope, it worked. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this. Can we do it? Gonna go about 50% on the throttle. Where's Don? Don, where are you at? And the nice thing about taking off here, we have that slope, and then it's just a drop off. So it uh, breaks off. Here we go, gentlemen. I do like this aircraft. It's a kind of hard to fly, but I do like it. See, like all of a sudden, it's like, oh shit, I've got plenty of altitude, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it, guys? My God. So gorgeous. And I'm gonna try to like level off right now and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the throttle out already. I'm already gonna pull that throttle out, guys. And you're gonna feel turbulence. Um, we'll see some turbulence. I'm not sinking. Why is it saying that? Make sure you get your trim in. But I'm gonna stick around 7,000 and I'm gonna go right up to the edge of this mountain and then I'm gonna start banking um, to the left, of course. Alright, and we don't want to get too close to that mountain, so we're going to go ahead and start banking. I'm See, I'm starting to climb a little bit. Probably have some updrafts up drafts, um, because we're close to that mountain. Now we have some dra down drafts. Oh, that would make sense because the wind's coming towards us here. That makes sense. It goes over top of those mountains, and I'm going to level out a little bit. I'm going to fly out here, and I see you guys right there. Awesome. McClyde back there now. McClyde, old golfer, flame too high. Leod faces down. That's awesome, guys. So I'm going to go out a little bit in the distance here, guys. I need to get myself slowed down. Going way, way, way too fast. And, you know, that's... I practiced this uh, tonight once, and um, I was going way too fast to come in. So I'd really suggest kind of keeping your speed at 100 to 120 or maybe even 90 to 100, for that matter. You're still going to be able to keep your altitude and... We just don't want to get going too fast because obviously speed kills, right? So I pull up this nose up a little bit, add some trim. And, uh, you know, there's some things that kind of, like, bitch about stuff. I mean, like, the bank angle stuff. And see, and here's that stutter again. The Galdang stuttering. So now we've got past that, and then our airport should be off to the right here. Kind of hard to see because of the snow. with our speed, gentlemen. But we can see there's the uh, ski lifts. Where am I at for altitude? I'm low, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low. Did I get lost again? Shouldn't have gotten lost. Probably like before, I'm too low. Should 
shit, there it is. I overshot Thank it, guys. You. Hope you're not following me. Thank you. I'm gonna add nacho flaps. It, it get see how it blends in with the snow? I probably shouldn't have done snow, cause like, shit, I can't. I, I miss. I miss it. I'm guess I'm still gonna try. I could do a go around, but we're gonna try it. Oh, uh, this thing good. Ah, we, we're gonna make this. We're gonna make it. I think. I'm just gonna nail this right down. There we go. No, oh, there we go. Backwards. Brakes. <laughs> That's that fucking seven. Jeez, really? Oh, actually, that ended up being a pretty good, good landing. If I do say so myself, it was a bad approach. I kind of lost where the where the airport was, but shit, that ended up being actually pretty good. How are you guys doing back there? Plane too high's got it. Awesome plane too high. Awesome, awesome blossom. Awesome blossom, awesome blossom. I'm gonna call that a success, guys. Uh, I gotta get my go drone view here. Aces, looks like you got it down. Good, buddy. Good job. Playing two highs down. Old golfer coming in. Look at you guys. Oh! You saved it. You saved it. Get that sucker slowed down. Let's get that slowed down. Beautiful. You got it. You got it, guys. Leot's off a little bit to the right. He saved it, though. He's good. I'll tell you what, guys, with that, that tailwind, McClyde coming in, Nate916, Cali. I don't know if he's just flying this regularly um, and just getting into the stream or if he's actually within us, guys, within the chat. Actually, all of us did well. We all survived. Not bad, guys, not bad. Good job, even without sterile cockpit. Nice, nice. I think that was a complete success, guys. I mean, I, I kind of lost where I was for a minute there. It's been twice, but with the, the snow, I guess that's the reality of it. But I that's been a... What do you guys think? I think that was a success, guys. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, guys. So now for the grand finale. Guys... Get yourself ready for a short hop. It's only a 15 nautical mile uh, jaunt. We actually are gonna do a actual leg, okay? It's a short leg, it's 15 nautical miles in Nepal. We're gonna load that up right now. Um, and I didn't get this into, um, into the route here, but uh, what you wanna do is you want to go to, and I'll put it in chat here, but do load up uh, Namchi Bazaar and uh, that's VNPL, Victor November Papa Lima. I'm gonna put that in chat. So there it is in chat so you guys can see it there. So load up VNPL and I'll do the same guys. And actually if you're doing the uh, world map or whatever, um, that's Faplu uh, Airport, and go ahead, and we're gonna take off from Runway 2. So that's Runway 2, so I'm gonna start hot on Runway 2. And uh, we're gonna make our way onto Nepal. So again, that is, there I can put the, you can at least get that. L, VLNK, VLNK. Actually, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, that's right, VLNK. The hell is that coming up for me? Makes no sense. Why is that not loading? Well, that's odd.
Anyone else have a VLNK? Is it, are you finding it? For some reason, it is not coming up for me right now. That's really weird. It did earlier. What the hell's wrong with you, Microsoft Flight Simulator? Your indexing thing messed up or what? VNLK. Uh, maybe I got it backwards. Did I get it backwards? VNLK, guys. I'm sorry. VNLK. Ignore that. That was my bad. VNLK is what uh, it is. Victor November Lima Kilo. Uh, sorry, guys. It's VNLK. I uh, dyslexic apparently. I got that backwards when I typed it in. VNLK. So it should be Lukla. So when you when you look for it, you sh it should come up as Lukla. VNLK. My bad. And I am going to turn it to daytime. I definitely don't want to have to deal with weather, but I'm still going to have the um, the, the snow. VNLK. That one there. Sorry, guys. So we're going to start from uh, VNPL. So here, uh, VNPL to VNLK. So go ahead and put that in your um, world map. And uh, I'm going to start hot from runway two just to speed it up because we're already at uh, 1132. And I know some of you, um, a lot of you work tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll uh, speed this up. So uh, I just put it in chat, VNL, uh, VNPL to VNLK, guys. So go ahead and get yourself loaded up. I'm going to do 846 in the AM. I'm going to start hot on runway two. Start hot on runway two. And actually, give me one one sec. Give me one sec. Get get yourself loaded. I will be get yourself loaded. I'll be right back. Okay, that took me longer than I expected, but uh, back with you guys. Everybody loaded up, loaded up and uh, ready. All right, well, I am. Let's see how you guys are all, if you guys are all set. Look at that. <laughs> so weird. Oh, this is going to be a fun flight, guys. And we're, what we're going to do, I'll give a real quick pre-flight brief here. We're gonna get straight out there. We're gonna go just a little bit to the left of that mountain. 
um, and there's a valley there. So we're just going to follow that straight, and it's pretty much a straight shot into Lukla. Um, it'll be about the easiest approach that we can do, honestly. Um, so let's see who we got here, guys. Tell me how beautiful is this. Old golfer, Liotz, aces down. Joseph, Nate, 916 Cali. Awesome. And McClyde, I see your name plate hidden back there behind aces. McClyde, nine. All right, guys. So um, if you want, feel free to uh, take off or join me, and I will guide us there. I did run one quick test flight from here. And, uh, again, if you have your GPS programmed, um, get that set. GPS is already set, and we're going to be going at desired track of two zero um, degrees, uh, straight, pretty much straightforward, guys. I'm going to get rid of this thing because it, again, it gets in the way. Um, I'm going to actually put my heading indicator right away because we will be landing. Uh, what runway are we going to be landing on? Uh, what is the runway we land on uh, at Lukla? I'm trying to remember now. Um, Runway 6, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and program Runway 6 in here. I suggest you guys do the same. Just get your heading bug there so you kind of know, yeah, this is where you should be pointed when you're coming in for landing. And we'll be able to kind of tuck into the right and land. Are we ready, guys? Don C, I'm on Runway 2. Awesome. One more drink for the road. Get the cameras on. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Let's do this. Here we go. For the grand finale of the night, Sim fans, here we go. We're gonna stabilize, get that throttle about 50%. All right, we're good. And uh, full throttle, disengage, parking brake, here we go. And again, we're not doing the whole re realistic thing tonight. Um, just in, this is really to check out this aircraft and have some fun at some of these airports around the world. That's what I wanted to do for tonight's stream. It's obviously we're not following procedures. We're not going through every single switch, and there's there's plenty of that out there. Um, and we a lot of times we'll do some of that, but uh, tonight's just checking this bird out. Just checking it out. Let's see who's behind us. Oh yeah, all you, beautiful. Uh, at about 400 feet above, we're gonna take out that notch of flaps, that 10 degrees of flaps, it should be out in this. I'm gonna keep climbing. I think what we wanna do is probably go at about 11,500. Kyle, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, welcome, my friend, welcome. You caught the grand finale here. I'm glad you missed a lot of my uh, shenanigans earlier. <laughs> There's that stutter again. Kyle, you're getting that stutter right. too, right? I'm going to fly right over this uh, mountain here, and then we're going to kind of level it off. Right. And uh, keep ourselves going here. Kind of get back to our to the right here. Keep on climbing. Uh, we might have to go 13.5. I'm trying to remember. We might be able to do 11.5. Man, the spamming tonight, guys, is terrible. Absolutely horrendous. What is up with it? Let me see all you guys back there. I gotta get a screenshot of that quick. And hopefully not die and crash. Keep on climbing. guys so we're just gonna keep falling right here well, you can see like everybody up there like everybody wants to land on this airport so you see everybody right. up there uh, so it's gonna definitely be congested um, but at a 020 heading we are gonna want to do um, if, since we're flying BFR of course we want to do 11,000 let's see if we can just level right. up geez it's not turbulence 11,500 here so I'm gonna level level right. out uh, I didn't get into the autopilot the autopilot does work pretty right. well on this aircraft I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the G, uh, GPS the 530. I mean it's okay I guess, but uh, again I'm not like necessarily a huge fan of it. But 
I'd say I think we can actually start descending a little bit. We got past that, that big ridge there. So we should be able to descend down and go over this ridge here. Starship, the next fly-in will be uh, the first Saturday of February. I, I don't know off the top of my head what day that, or date that is, um, but it'll be the first Saturday um, in February, my friend. Uh, that will be the 5th. It looks like it'll be fifth, and it'll be 8:30 Central Standard Time, 02:30 um, Zulu. Definitely buy, Kyle. I would say definitely buy. But it, you know, like talking tonight, it's kind of like this thing is tricky, man. It's kind of like you're you're used to the CJ4, so you'd be all right. But you've got to stay ahead of this. For, like as far as turbo props go, this is definitely an aircraft you got to stay ahead of. Um, and it's almost like it's full throttle on or off, almost. And that. Uh, I, I only flew it like maybe five or six touch and goes uh, before tonight's live stream. So I've embarrassed myself enough for one night. <laughs> um, we never died. We didn't crash. Now, I said that I'm going to jinx it, Kyle. I've not crashed. Actually nailed a few landings at Saba. And um, we just flew at, uh, in France. So you guys notice I'm, I'm kind of getting myself descended here a little bit. Probably a little too early for it, honestly. I'm not giving myself enough clearance there, but just trying to make my way over to uh, Lukla here. But yeah, so we're going to end here at Lukla, Kyle. A nice, uh, fun airport I'm sure you've flown into. Old golfer's making his way in. Um, and I believe the... I'm trying to remember what the uh, elevation is here. I think it's like roughly 6,500 feet, guys, is the um, is the elevation of Lukla here as we fly in. Three. Runway six. So get yourself slowed down, and, and you have to descend like a freaking manhole cover almost. His old golfers are just going like a bat out of bat out of hell there. Um, and there goes uh, flame, flame too high. And um, I think we're going to be all right here, though, guys. This is looking fairly good. And again, by the way, guys, when we fly into this, uh, into Lukla, this is also a default airport. Uh, 9,300, Old Golfer says. Oh, it's 9,300. I was way off then. Yeah, Old Golfer says 9,300, guys. I, I was way off. And can see it right over there. And yeah, be prepared too, because you don't want to have your, you know, yourself. So many nameplates, I can't fucking see the runway. <laughs> it's like, all I see is like all of these nameplates. Jeez. Oh shit. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. All right, I gotta go back. I gotta go back around. I couldn't. I couldn't see the field. I'm in trouble here, guys. So we can't get over that and get some speed going. Damn. There's Joseph. Oh, it is. It is, Kyle. My God. I, and I, I, uh, that's happened to me several times. 
Early on, thanks Tommy Hughes for joining. Blue Skies, my friend, thanks for joining. The client's being smart, he's kind of staying back. The old golfer's part. I don't feel good about this at all. Oh, I'm way too high now. Damn. And, and this isn't going to help. I'm almost like, just like, really? The, the, the stuttering stuff is driving me crazy. and all over. There we go. There we go. Landed. We're good. I didn't have to throw in the reversers. I didn't have to give it some power to get up this hill. We got her, though. Good job, guys. Honestly, really good. Hey, I'm, I'm just happy I didn't freaking crash. Uh, we all did. All did well. I, my approach, I, yeah, I just I lost the field. I had that problem. I might need my eyes checked <laughs> tonight. Good job, everybody. Nice job. Good job. Here comes McClyde. Clyde coming in. Can I, can I catch him, guys? Let me go to drone view. Let me go quick, 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 quick. Here comes McClyde. Clyde and Leots, we're gonna get you here um, coming in, guys. Let's see how they do. Yeah, Kyle, it's, it's it is. It's like either full power or just like off. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> My Clyde's in the side. Oh man, that happens, buddy. That's okay. That's okay. That's a tough approach. Like Kyle said, this this is not. Easy. This is not easy, guys. Now you guys saw. I had to. I had to turn around. I couldn't. I. I didn't. I couldn't see the freaking field. <laughs> What's that? An ice check. <laughs> Here comes Leots. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Nice. Nice job in that PC6. Is that the Milvis or is that the built-in one? I love me the PC6 guys. I love it. Nice landing. Nice landing, Leots. We got a, a new uh, new sim fan in the in the house here, guys. Leots has been doing pretty good. He's gonna give us a run for our money. There's Joseph. Holy shit! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, Joseph, you're gonna make the highlight reel on Aviation's uh, <laughs> future highlights. I guarantee it. Oh, friends, friends, this is great. And uh, I'm going to hop back in. What the hell? No! What happened? <laughs> and uh, for some reason, uh, the parking brake disengaged or something happened. I don't know. I didn't crash officially. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I go to drone view and I, I, I don't watch my aircraft anymore and shit like that's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, excellent job, though, guys, tonight. I thought this was, uh, this was a nice little change. Uh, hopefully you agree. Um, you know, something a little different, something definitely challenging. Um, the whole night actually has been a challenge. I mean, between uh, Cavix and TNCS and Saba and then to St. Bart's and those approaches. Good job, by the way, many of you. That was a great job on flying and then having a little bit of a landing challenge there. And, uh, you know, and, of course, then we went to... Uh, Corchebel, uh, Kyle's where we went in France. You've, you've seen that. There's been a landing challenge there next to the ski resort. It's either make it or break it. And, uh, and then following up with the last leg here, guys. It uh, was a lot of fun. I do appreciate it. I Obviously, guys, I do appreciate you joining this late night stream. I do realize it's late for many of you. Um, do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you'll join us again. If you haven't already, please smash that thumbs up button. Do a like. And uh, please subscribe. And guys, as always, stay safe and take care. I'll, I'll check out the chat here as, as soon as I conclude, but stay safe, take care. Thanks for joining, and Blue Skies friends, we will see you soon. Bye-bye.
By the way, I do want to do a shout out before I leave. Uh, so again, uh, Don C, thanks for joining. Lee. Leox, Milvis Porter, that's a beautiful plane. Uh, many of us have that. Lee, thanks for joining tonight. Nice shout out to you. Thanks for joining. Fun flying with you. Old Golfer 67, as always. Thanks for joining. Uh, definitely fun flying with you. Kyle, I'm glad you made it, buddy. Thanks for joining tonight, Kyle. Didn't expect you to be here, but nonetheless, glad you made it. Tommy Hughes, I think, already took off, but Tommy, a uh, shout out to you anyway. Aviation Spider, I don't know. Aviation, maybe he's gone, uh, but uh, Aviation, appreciate it as always of you joining. Starship, stalled. I missed that. Stalled. Starship, thanks for joining tonight. Uh, great to have you. Let's see. Who else we've got? Ace is obviously Ace is down in the house. Ace is always good to see you, my friend. Thanks for joining tonight. Really appreciate it, brother. Thanks for joining. Uh, Blando Calrissian. I think Blando took off, but Blando, thanks so much. Delgam88. Delgam88. Flame Nation. Glad you're joining us, buddy. I did check out your channel. Looks like you have quite a few subscribers and uh, looks like a great channel. Flame Nation, glad you joined us tonight. Thanks for joining us. Uh, appreciate it, my friend. And uh, let's see, who else we got? I've got, we've got all the spam tonight, guys. So I'm just kind of like sorting through here. Saying WMKI Ground joined us. He took off a while ago, but w WMKI, if you watch this later, appreciate you joining as well. Um, and did I get everybody, guys? I think I got, nope, GH. Don't want to forget about G.H. Shallingsworth. G.H., thanks so much for joining. Appreciate you joining. Haven't seen you on here before. Really good to see you. Lucas, Lucas, I know you're gone probably now, but Lucas, thanks for joining. Arthur Le Touriste. Thanks for joining as well. Um, and uh, I think I got everybody, guys. If I missed anyone, I apologize. But uh, again, guys, thanks so much. And uh, we'll conclude with, uh, of course, a video compilation from Aviation Spotter. If he's still around, um, he gets to see it. He's already seen it. He's built it. And uh, the rest of you, uh, hold on. We will be right back. John, John, I missed John. John and Chris. Chris Sherrod and uh, Chris Evans. I, f I forgot about you. I, I missed you guys. Uh, thank you guys as well. But uh, guys, stay tuned. Uh, video coming up. Video compilation. And guys, we'll see you soon. Stay tuned. Maybe streaming Saturday night, um, but may not. My son's birthday is then, so we'll have to see. Um, but uh, guys, take care. Stay safe. Blue skies. We will see you soon.
doing the same to me over here. All right, aviation, we're spotlighting you. Nice landing. Look at him, he's gonna try to hit the numbers. Look at the show off. <laughs> Oh, beautiful! Look at that landing! Nicely done! Nicely done, aviation. He's good, isn't he, fans? There goes Kyle. There he goes. Right after aviation. This is awesome. Get a screenshot of that, will you, aces? I got one, just in case. Now I got a screenshot of that. Time for a screenshot. Oh my god! That guy with the 7 4. Look at him! There he goes! Woo! Alright! Beautiful! Beautiful! There we go. You've been, you've been back there probably for a while, actually, I bet. Well, look at this stacked! Look at us all stacked up here. Aces, grab a screenshot of that one. They do, but we be told to hold for it because uh, there goes Kyle in his CJ4. That looks great, Kyle. Beautiful, man. There he goes. Landing lights just oh, covered this the is, bottom of Kit for his plane. This is awesome, guys. Sheboygan. We will go ahead and take a break. So we'll get to Sheboygan because we're going to land at Baton for seeing our apartment. So, how about that? Evans right below. Nice shot there. That. Here we go. We can uh, put that back up. We got a nice little diamond formation going on here. Yeah, it's looking yeah. good. Sorry, I got a little out of position. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a screenshot and post it. Quick. I thought I put him up. Tell me. Is he still look down? Sounds good, Kyle. Thanks for joining, man. Blue skies. Uh, I'm up to your left. I see you breaking to the left. Have a good flight, man. We'll see you next. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Here we go. Here he comes. Woo! Look at him. Nicely done. Rich 19904. Look at that sun come up, Suzanne. Merck 2234, wind 320 at 14, runway 31, cliff takeoff. This is right up Aviation Spotters. Aviation Spotter loves these flights. Aviation, I know you've been waiting a while for this. There he goes. Look at that. Beautiful Caribbean. Summer Killa. My boy followed up. Summer Killa, look at you. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, what a formation. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at aviation right off my wing. There they are. Aviation spotter and aces. So uh, aces is on the left. Uh, aviation spotter is on the right. And uh, we're going to stop short here as they are going to do the water salute. We might not be able to pull it off. Oh, holy crap. Look at this. Look at these guys. So what they have, actually, look at this. There they go. Woo! Yes! That is cool. Oh, good job, guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. I mean, how, how awesome is this, right? Here we go. 